Cyclone Damien has put on a show of intensification this morning now with winds of 85 miles per hour, pressure of 979 millibars as of 9 a.m. Australian Western Standard Time this February 7th. Current CDBS takes it towards Wickham, Western Australia as a stage 5 on the CDPS where as much as 400 millimeters of rain will fall in the area and we can have some of that rain extending when well inland from the landfall zone area. Damien is at 17.7 degrees south, 117 degrees east against stage 5 on the CDPS, category 3 on the AU scale, category 1 on the Sapper Simpson scale at this time. It is 194 miles from Port Headland, 210 from Caratha, 215 to Railburn, 258 to Millstream, and 344 to Tom Price, all of these in the Western Australian region. We do have cyclone warnings in place from Wally Downs to Martini Island, inland to Millstream, and cyclone watches from Shea Gap to Onslow, inland to the Collier Range National Park. Getting into the rainfall forecast, you can see Damien on the left side of the screen as it will be dropping 20 to 40 millimeters of rain per hour along the Western Australia coast near the Karatha area, and that rainfall will extend further south towards the Tom Price area over the next two to three days. We also have 91P showing up on the GFS in this run as well. We'll have to keep an eye on what it's going to do over the next few days. Sea surface temperatures for Damien are looking really good right now. 28 and 29 degrees Celsius where it's at. It's actually starting to cool the waters where it's at by nearly a degree. So we'll have to see how much more it's gonna be able to gain strength from that. But getting into the forecast, you can see where Damien is at, and this forecast would be a significant cyclone where it could be as strong as Category 3 equivalent on the Saffron Simpson scale, Category 4 on the AU by the time it does make landfall, possibly near Karatha by the, on the uh, next 24 to 36 hours out. And then you can see on the right side of the screen that will be 91P that the GFS is picking up on. We'll have to see what that's going to do over the next few days. Getting into the chances of tropical storm forest winds, Roburn at 94%, Caratha at 87, Port Headland at 82, Millstream at 74, and Tom Price at 56%. Getting into the model guidance, JTWC taking up to Category 3, H4 being a low aggressive, think it can reach Category 4. All the other models are taking it right up to about a Category 2 equivalent, and it's going to have some decent wind shear, but it's going to run out of time due to making landfall in the next 24 to 36 hours. And you can see all the models there taking it pretty close to the Karatha area of Western Australia. Now getting into the satellite imagery, you can see just how well Damien has been looking over the last few hours, starting to see some really stronger cloud tops popping up on the northwestern side of the system there. And getting into the water vapor imagery, you can see where it's starting to wrap some of that convection in. Has a really good outflow starting to develop over the last few frames. And getting into the infrared, you can see some of those stronger cloud tops starting to show up around where the eye could be trying to come out. So if you're in places like Karatha, Port Headland, you guys have about 24 hours before this is going to be making landfall and it's going to be bringing some very dangerous conditions to the area. Keep an eye on this and we'll have another update later on. Thank you for watching this production of Force 13. For more information about Force 13, you can check us out on all of our outlets. Our website, force13.com, where we are overhauling the website and writing new articles for your reading pleasure. We're also on YouTube, keyword 413. You're probably there already, good chance of that. If you are, hit that like and subscribe button to keep getting updates like this one coming to your mailbox. We're also on Facebook, keyword 413, where we post our updates and keep an eye out for our live coverage on there as well. And we're on Twitter, keyword 413. And if you want to rock our colors like Nathan Foy here, you can go to our store available at store.force13.com or you can contribute to the project directly by way of the Patreon. More information about patronage and the privilege you can get from patronage can be found at patreon.com forward slash 413 and you can reach out to us on Skype at 413 
or to me directly on Discord at TREN extension 1375 or you can join our server with our new link at discord.gg forward slash force 13.